What's going on? Aaron here from Curls on the Rack. Today, I want to do another review video. Uh, it's going to be on the Titan full-size wall-mounted pulley system. This is a version two. All right, guys. I want to go over first why I decided to go with the cable machine. When I bought my initial setup from Rogue, I got the rack. I got everything I thought I needed. I was like, damn, I don't have a cable machine. You know, but they're like three thousand dollars. So I think I'll go ahead and get the Spud Ink cable pulley. But let me tell you what I found when doing a workout, going from like you know pull ups to pull downs. Setting this thing up takes forever. Getting this, getting the loading pin, putting all the weights on, hooking that to there, getting the right attachments. Uh, I've even tried to put it on the rafters. Uh, it's really annoying. And even when you're pulling down on these guys and you're not jerking it down to where you'd have swing, it will swing a little bit. So you're pulling the weight up here, it's gonna swing. There's not a lot of room and I got a mirror right here. So I got sick of that. Taking five, seven minutes to set this up in the middle of a workout just wasn't working out for me. So I said, hey, I gotta get a pulley system. Went online, went to Rogue, because I tried to get everything Rogue. Rogue didn't have any plate-loaded pulley systems. All they had was a, I think it was like three or $4,000 for one of the stacks. Uh, I don't have that kind of money. So I said, all right, I gotta get something that's gonna work for me. So I went over to Titan Fitness. I usually uh, try to stay away from Titan Fitness, but you know, I've, I've seen other reviews on some products they have that are good, some products they have that are bad. Uh, I didn't really see any reviews on this particular one, so that's why I'm doing it. Another reason that I decided when transitioning from this pulley system to the cable machine was I, initially I used bands. So I would throw a band up here and anchor it down here, anchor it here, and do some crossovers. But what I noticed is that there's a lot of tension at the end of the movement, but there's no tension at the beginning of the movement. So you're not getting that constant tension. But with a cable machine, you're gonna get constant tension the whole time during the movement. So that was another reason for switching to the cable machine. All right, this is the box that it came with, guys. Uh, it was packaged pretty well. It wasn't dinged up at all when I received it. I've heard online that uh, some people received theirs dings, but uh, not me. It had the uh, cardboard on the outside like this, so it was pretty well protected. Uh, and it took me about an hour and 20 minutes with a toddler <laughs> to uh, put it together. So it wasn't bad. The pulleys, getting those all set up correctly and uh, you know, with one person uh, it was a little annoying, but it wasn't, it wasn't the end of the world. First thing I did after I got the whole thing set up was I lubed it all up with this trifold. Triflow Superior Lubricant. I use that on all the barbells I have, uh, and it works great. Uh, so anyways, I did that, and what I noticed is that when I would pull, I still got a lot of drag. It would be smooth some parts, and then it would drag, and then it would be smooth, so that was annoying. So I took the blogs, and I looked up what the problem was online, and it is, these casters right here. So these are called the casters and they slide along the poles. And what's happened is they are um, too tight around here. So what I did was I took the top off of it and I took these out and I took a Dremel and I'll include pictures on here of what I did. Uh, you could go around and you kind of route out a little bit more space with the Dremel. There's one on top here, there's one underneath there, another one on top, another one on the bottom. So when I did that, it, add, it left a little bit more space up here for them to move on there. So now, much, much smoother. So I'm very happy with it. Now, it did need some tweaking to get it to that point, but other than that, I think it's a great, a great machine for 150 bucks. So uh, that's it, pros, cost, get two pulleys, quick transitions between high and low, Cons, uh, you know, it's plate loaded, it's not as smooth as it could be, and it, it needed some fine tuning. All right, there you have it, guys. A review on the Titan wall-mounted pulley system version two. Uh, hopefully you liked the video. 
If you have any comments on how I can improve on it or stuff that you needed to know that I didn't go over, please feel free to put it in the comments section and I'll try to help you out if I, if I know. And I'll let you know if this uh, thing breaks in the next two weeks. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I haven't had much time to mess with it yet, so we will see. And if you're looking for any exercises that you might be able to do on this, we have a free workout program at our website, www.curlsontherack.com. So go check it out. Later. Thank you.